In this video, we will show you how to submit routine locate requests. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, select Submit a Locate Request. This will bring you to the iTIC User Information and Excavator Information sections. Be sure your name and contact info are in the iTIC User Information section. Confirm all excavator information and make any necessary changes. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will bring you to steps 1 and 2. First, step 1. Contact information. Enter the name and telephone number of someone who is familiar with the job, preferably someone who will be on site during excavation. For type of work, enter the purpose of the excavation and not the method. You can use the keyword auto search function here. For example, entering a word like install will bring up a list of potential matches. For work being done for, enter the name of the person, company, or organization the work is being done for. If you have acquired a permit number for your excavation, enter the number in the permit field. Otherwise, leave this field blank. If your excavation involves explosives of any type, enter Y for the explosives question. Otherwise, select N for no. If you have pre-marked your excavation area with white paint or flags, select Y for area marked in white. Otherwise, select N for no. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will bring you to Step 3, Location Information. Using the drop-down menus, select the island, county, and city or place where the work is being done. In the House Number field, enter the number of the address where you will be digging. If there is no address, leave this field blank. In the Street field, enter the name of the dig street. You can use the keyword auto search function here as well. For the closest cross street, enter the name of the road that intersects the dig street closest to where the excavation is taking place. Please keep in mind that this may not necessarily be a major intersection. In location of work, enter a complete description of your entire excavation area. Be as detailed as possible. It is very important that you describe any area where excavation may take place and not just where you believe lines may be buried. Next is step 4, the map it section. The iTIC computer thinks it has found the approximate location of the address that I have entered. This potential match is represented by a place mark on the screen. You can use the identify tool to inspect certain aspects of the map for more information. This additional information will be listed at the bottom of the map interface after the word highlight. Once you have found the correct location, you will need to select an area on the map that will completely encompass your entire worksite. You will do this by drawing a polygon. First, select the Draw tool. Then draw your polygon by clicking on the map where you would like to begin. Continue to draw until your entire work area has been encompassed. To close out the polygon, simply click on the same point where you began. You may also cycle through different map views to ensure you have mapped in the correct area. The Satellite button will display overhead satellite imagery. The Google Map contains information from the Google Maps database. The hybrid map is a combination of satellite imagery and OCC mapping. To adjust your polygon, simply click on one of the corner points you have made, drag it to the desired location, and release. Continue this process until the desired shape has been achieved. You will need to have the OCC map selected in order to approve your polygon. Once you are sure your entire worksite has been encompassed, move to step 5, start date information. The start date and time will automatically default to the earliest available time, based on when you are filing your ticket. If you will begin your work at a later date and or time, you can adjust the start date and time by using the calendar buttons and the drop down menus. However, keep in mind that if you do adjust the start date and time, you are agreeing to postpone your work until that point. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to the Utility Notification List. This is a complete list of the utilities that will be notified as a result of your ticket. This list is determined solely by where you mapped your excavation area. If there is a utility that you know to be missing from this list, it may be wise to return to the Map It section and remap the area. 
At this point, clicking Next Step will release your ticket to the call center for review. You may now begin a new ticket, view the ticket you have just filed, or click Finished to return to the main menu.